Okay. So we saw that it is surface tension. Surface tension arises due to the tendency of the liquid to keep its surface area maximum. Minimum, sorry. Minimum. Okay. So that the number of particles that are in contact with the surface, at the surface, they are a minimum and the total, total energy of the system goes, becomes the least. Okay. <coughs> Now, this surface tension, surface tension is denoted by, is denoted by gamma, denoted by gamma. Let me take you to the advent of it. We know now that energy is directly proportional to the to the surface area okay energy is directly proportional to the surface area when this proportionality sign goes away what comes in is the gamma. surface tension gamma okay so what should be the unit of gamma the unit of gamma is energy per unit area which is which is joule per meter square okay joule per meter square what this sign no uh, it's the same gamma written as you know, at places you'll find it written like this Okay, so, so it is joule per meter square. Now what is joule after all? Joule is energy, that is great. Fine. What else? It is Newton into meter, is it not? Work, work or energy upon meter square, is it not? So, so it is, it is uh, I mean to say the unit of unit of unit of gamma is joule per meter square which is this which is Newton per meter so it is also expressed as force per unit length is it not so the same thing Therefore, the surface tension, surface tension is equal to, is equal to, to energy per unit area, is equal to energy per unit area or force per unit length. Force per unit length. It has got its own usage. Both of them are used at different places. Okay? We'll see that. We'll see that later. Fine? Okay. Now, it has got certain interesting connotations. Okay? One of the connotations is is that the pressure inside the bubble is greater than the atmospheric pressure you know so so what what happens p is greater than pa now we we feel that the total force in the inside is greater so perhaps it should it should have burst but what keeps it from bursting Surface the surface tension. Surface tension is trying to squeeze in. It is trying to become a smaller bubble, right? That's why the pressure is building up. Yes. The, the, the surface tension is trying to squeeze in. It's trying to become a smaller bubble. Okay. 
Okay, so so it compresses some amount of air inside, and in physics will be it compresses that air. That means it is the surface tension which is actually, which is actually, which is actually countering your force, right? The the inside excess pressure is being countered by, by the, by the surface tension. Correct. Okay. We understand that. So, so a bubble and 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 the wonder of wonders is that smaller a bubble, uh, smaller a bubble, higher is the pressure inside. So, if you connect two bubbles, one one with a smaller radii and the other with a larger radii, what do you expect to happen? The larger will burst and the smaller will become smaller. Looks weird. Sounds weird. The smaller bubble has a higher pressure. We'll be deriving this in physics. Don't worry. This has a higher pressure. So if you somehow say, say hypothetically, connect two bubbles without without bursting them, you just connect the air inside with a straw or something, a thin, very thin capillary. Then what will happen? The smaller will become smaller, and it will make bigger the bigger. Okay. While while our, our understanding or intuition. Or common sense says that the bigger should become smaller and they'll they'll equal and no no that that's what it is no that the amount of air will be the same but it is not so so this gives rise to similarly pressure inside a drop is greater than pressure inside a drop you understand what a bubble is and what a drop is in drop there is a solid solid thing inside so so this whole liquid huh? So pressure inside this is greater than outside, but the pressure inside a bubble is, is twice that. The differential in the pressure is twice that because it has got two surface areas, so two surface areas, right? In and out, in and out right? So there, there's air, air, water, and water, air, two surfaces in contact. It 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 has got some wonderful kind of experiments that can be given rise to by this. You you take a take a loop of wire okay dip it inside some soap solution hmm? some stabilized soap solution where where the the bubble stays for a long amount of time right and and you you gently drop a thin thread over this Okay, a thin thread over this. So, so you you can do that. It lies over this, and and then what you do, you 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 puncture it here. The thread will be some random shape. Okay, it's better if you use a wet thread. Okay, mm -hmm. so it will be some random shape. But the moment you burst this, then what happens? The inside bubble that will get burst. The inside film that will get burst and the outside will remain and the wonder of wonders is that immediately you, you keep it horizontal immediately the thread takes a circular shape circular shape why as with the sphere so with this for a given length of wire the area of a circle is the maximum. Same for a given surface area, the volume of, as the volume of the sphere was the maximum, so for a given circumference, for a given periphery, for a given length, minimum, minimum. 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 don't get confused. For a given surface area, the volume is the maximum. For a given volume, the surface area is a minimum. What? I'm saying the same thing, reverse. For a given volume, the surface area is a minimum. Okay, so for a given surface area, the volume is the maximum. Okay, so the same thing is here. For a given length of the thread, the area of this is maximum. So what is it trying to do? What are these people trying to do? They are trying to reduce their own reduce their own film area 
for that this vacant thing has to be the maximum and the maxima is attained in case of a circle and that is why yes no no this circle will come only because you have punctured the punctured the film in between it's not that this will create a hole in the mid middle when you create a hole in the middle you burst that that film then only it will become a circle you didn't get it no you people didn't get it hmm no, no, it's not necessary that everyone gets it, then you also get it. It's not so so democratic. If you have a doubt, ask me. Same if we uh, sprinkle hmm. pepper on in a bucket of water and drop detergent on it, the pepper will uh -huh. spread and it will form a circular shape. It will spread and form a circular shape on the surface of the water itself. Hmm? That reduces surface tension. Detergent reduces surface tension. Maybe because the speed when, uh, by which it propagates, no? Mm -hmm. And forms a circular. The, from the center, mm -hmm. the speed with which the propagation is there, that must be constant. So, so it will make a... It will try to diffuse into the water, no? Mm -hmm. So the speed will be the same. So, so that as a center, it will throw maybe things to the... Because adding the detergent reduces the surface tension. That's how it washes. No? The, there's a missile formation and then, mm. then the hydrophobic and the hydrophilic, it attaches somewhere, uh, away from somewhere, right? So, so, so surface tension is expressed as both. Okay, it is expressed as both. There is, there is another thing that, 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 can, that you can do is, uh, and, and that is this. So, maybe a, maybe a, a very, thin sort of, thin sort of uh, light, movable, movable thing, movable uh, wire, not rod, but, but a very thin wire, if you, if, if you place it like this, and you dip this in a bubble, uh, okay, in, in, in a soap solution, and bring it out, then you will find this going up, and, and what happens? How do you find out the force that gets applied here? It is this F into L. Because, because surface tension is force is equal to surface tension into length. You understand? Mm -hmm. So energy is equal to, to, to surface tension into area. Into area or, or force is equal to surface tension surface tension into length understand the same the same thing has got two connotations and depending on on where you are or what you are trying to use you will be using either of them so say when you are trying to when you are trying to convert one big bubble into so many small bubbles what happens the area increases the area will increase. So suppose suppose you have one bubble, you are converting it with radius r, you are converting it into thousand bubbles, thousand bubbles, okay, uh, uh, one drop, you are trying to convert it into thousand drops. So, so here it will be 4 by 3 by r cube and, and each of these small ones, each of these small ones, have 4 by 3 pi r cube into 1000, right? So this volume should be equal. It is the same volume which is getting converted. So, so, so 4 by 3 and 4 by 3 and pi and pi and, and, and r cube is equal to r cube upon 1000, which is r cube upon 10 cube. So r becomes 1 tenth of the uh, the the radius original radius. Now let us try to talk about their total surface area. So the surface area for this is 4 pi r square. While the surface area of this is 4 pi 
this small r square which is r square upon 100 no into 1000 such bubbles so that makes it 4 pi r square into 10 you see so the so suddenly the area becomes 10 times what it was so you will require so energy of the bubble has gone up s into that surface tension remains the same s into the total area so the energy of the bubble has gone up that's why you require some sort of pump or a pressure or or some injected air or pressurized air to to make to make a spray If you are able Without to bursting it, it is possible. Yeah, it is possible. Many many times you Yeah, it clings to the it clings to your fingers, no? The the end points they are kind of trying to retain that shape and in that they 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 wrap around your finger. Surface tension has to do with your finger inside the bubble, bubble not burst. So, if your fingers are inside the bubble, so, no, you have actually reduced the, reduced the, yeah, so when you pull it out, it will burst, it might. If you pull it out, it might burst. Your finger inside is has has reduced the, so it's happy. Hmm. If we take it out, then hmm. it won't be able to adjust. Actually. Or may may adjust. Hmm. It may adjust. So much so that you know the bubbles and and uh, um, the films. Thin film is a is a separate branch in physics with huge potential. Thin film physics. It's called thin film physics. Okay. So, so it is 10 times that, so you will require energy. Now what happens if these small drops try to become one, that much amount of energy is released into the system. It will be released into the system and this happens bef just before the rainfall. So when these small droplets are condensing, then you will suddenly feel a, a sudden rise in temperature. And the people, the older people who are, who are experienced, they can tell you that there will be rainfall. Because that is the sign of condensation occurring in atmosphere on a very very large scale understand mm -hmm. on a very large scale so both the things you apply energy the bubble becomes smaller you the bubbles coalesce they come together the energy is released and uh, what is acting it is the surface tension which is at the heart of all this understand okay now what happens if you increase the temperature? The kinetic energy of the molecules increases. increases and that tendency to come together reduces. So surface tension will go down with increase in temperature. Okay. So as the temperature increases, as the temperature increases, the surface tension goes down okay due to increased kinetic energy of the molecules Okay. Fine. 